live. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me at all. I don't care. <laughs> Just listen to the engine instead. Talking about listening to the engine, you know it's got that rev match thing, which mostly I keep off. But it's really handy to get into because there's a, a Mustang key right here. You hit the Mustang key, it immediately takes you to that screen. You scroll down, you see the rev match. If I press OK now, the rev match is on. If I come out of the Mustang, I press the Mustang key uh, button again, it goes onto the main screen where I've got my trip computer and stuff. But if I want to turn it off, I press it and it remembers where I was and it goes back to the rev button. So I've got the rev buttons on and then that's what it does. Revs up the engine every time you change down. <laughs> this is what it's all about. With the convertible, the main thing is to drive it with the roof down. Every single opportunity that I've had, I've always put the roof down. Because why would you not? I have to say that in terms of the design and stuff, and I've said this before, I still prefer the coupe, but if you're gonna have a convertible, there's no point driving it with the roof up. And especially on days like this. And of course, the advantage is that you really get to hear the engine and you really get to, to revel in the sound of that V8. Which, let's be honest, we won't be able to do for much longer, so we might as well make the most of it, right? But it's rare to get an opportunity to bring in. So I was out visiting an event um, on the way back. I thought I'd not take the direct route, take a little bit of a roundabout route, just to enjoy the car, because that's what it's all about, right? Why would you not? <laughs> There's no reason to be going down these B roads right now, except that I want to. <laughs> get to hear it. Surrounded by trees, I'm sort of going through a tunnel of three trees at the moment and uh, you rev the engine you can really hear. You can not only hear the staccato rhythm but you can also hear the burble and the lower tone that you get, this kind of puffing, puffing that it does or the huffing and puffing that it does. You really start to hear that as well. It's fantastic, it's magnificent. It's a big car to be treading down a, a little road like this but uh, Hey ho! <laughs> oh. oh wow! Whoa! That's just what an experience this is, right? What a joy! people that are naysayers that don't necessarily like the Mustang and what it stands for but although generally when I've driven it around town I have encountered nothing but uh, uh, appreciation and affection for the car but to me it's like wow you know when you do that when you drive it like this and you know when you get to hear that engine when you get to hear that how can you not like it how Of you upset the locals, you, you scare children, you know, you do all of this sort of stuff, you know. A 
the children actually enjoy it, to be fair. They're like, Rebbe, Rebbe! <laughs> actually, a lot of people have said that to me. Rebbe, Rebbe! People enjoy listening to it as much as I do. Wow, what a beast. What a thing. I'm going to miss this car when it's gone back. That's for sure. More than that, I'm going to miss this genre of cars when they disappear from our roads mostly which is bound to happen if not now but say by 2030 maybe it's quite possible it'll be tragic you know they you know they'll be able to simulate the sound i mean that would be a clever thing to <laughs> that would be a clever thing to do would be to replicate the sound to replicate to try and replicate the sensations as much as possible i mean it won't be authentic but it'll be something you know and it'll be it'll be worth having them but yeah it won't be the real thing will it it won't be like this see even even when you're not accelerating hard it still sounds great look at that <laughs> love it and you just can't i mean you know you know, you think, why am I paying so much money? Why am I buying a car like this? Why am I putting so much fuel into it? Why am I doing all these things? But you know, I tell you what, mental therapy, well-being, mental well-being. You're feeling miserable, you're feeling down, you jump in a car like this, put the roof down, turn the music on, and just listen to it. Listen to the music, listen to the engine, and just enjoy that torque underneath your right foot. Ah, oh, my God, how can you not be having a good day at that point? <laughs> oh boy, what a thing. Get in on the Mustang experience. Get in on it. You won't regret it. Oh. Time to head on to the motorway. Motorway with the roof down? Yeah, why not? I mean, I've done it a few times. I've had to put the, I'll put the roof up just out of a precaution, but... I did it earlier today where I had the roof down and I was like, well, why not, you know? It was absolutely fine. And I think the good thing is that with the windows up, it's actually not that much of an issue. The windows actually reduce the buffeting quite a substantial amount, you know? So um, I can keep my hat on, for example. If I put the windows down, I'm not too confident about retaining my hat. But when I put the windows up, not an issue. It's actually pretty calm in here. Big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nayajan Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy.